Hey team, just wanted to take a few minutes to show you the very latest innovation from Glowbite, and these are the lure savers. Okay, so this is Kevlar braid. There's an example of one out of the packet. It's about 150 mils long and a loop with a matte black swivel on the end. So what's that all about? Exactly what the name says, it's about keeping your lures from getting bitten off by toothy critters. Um, in New Zealand waters, that's particularly barracuda and, um, and sharks in the winter time. Um, so we've been working, actually big shout out to all the subscribers for Fishing Innovators that are effectively part of the test team for Globite. Um, so we've been working with quite a few of them in the last, last winter, trialling all sorts of different things to try and come up with a solution that would mean you're not losing lures in the winter time. So um, we did trial quite a bit with, um, with steel traces, but we found that they just weren't flexible enough to allow your lure to move naturally. Um, and so that's why we went to Kevlar. So just by way of example, um, here's, a, here's a good quality trace, I'm not knocking this one, there's plenty of others on the market as well. Um, it's an 80 pound trace, it's a very budget household pair of scissors, um, but no trouble just chopping straight through, I don't know how well you can see that. Just chopping straight through that with my, with my budget scissors, there we go. And, um, and yet when it comes to this stuff, to Kevlar braid, get in there with the scissors and okay it's causing a bit of damage but it's still strong as and um, is not actually chopping through. In fact I've got to work that, that Kevlar right up into the corner and still work on it. Yeah, eventually I'll get through it. So um, much more resistant to teeth than mono or fluorocarbon which is what we're looking for and yet still really so supple and able to let your lures move. So how do you actually rig those things? Um, let me show you, I'll show you firstly on um, one of these jack flash lures, in fact this is the latest lure from Globite, um, the jack flash with a little flashing light in there, I'll make it go for you. Um, just released today actually so that's what we call a mango tango that one, fantastic lure for the winter time um, and when fish are kind of a bit lethargic, um, the metabolism slowed down, but we don't want to go giving it away to Barracuda, so let's um, show you how we rig this puppy. So basically what I'm doing um, with these these particular lures, the Jack Flash lures, we've actually sent them out with, you can see there, there's two solid rings, and the reason for that is that um, having a second solid ring actually enables the hooks to be much freer and much more able to flop around. Um, whereas the conventional way of doing it is tying straight onto the solid ring with the hooks. Um, so let's, but you can obviously if you've got a different lure you could tie it onto the hooks. Um, let's just try threading that and the way to do it is just take the loop, pass it through the solid ring on your lure, like so, and then loop it back on itself. So there's our loop open, there's our other end with our matte black swivel on it. Loop it back through itself and you're good to go. You connect it, it's a really strong connection, but as you can see, the lure's really free to move for little rattles on the other end to rattle happily away. Um, if you want to make it even more sure, because you've got, um, actually, you know, it's doubled over line there, you could add a further insurance policy by putting just even a half hitch in that, um, in that braid and work that hitch down so that it's butt it up close against um, your original um, loop the loop, like so. And then if a fish bites through one of these, that's not still gonna hold, you're still gonna land your fish. That's, that's rated to about 50 kilos, that Kevlar, so it's a really strong braid, and you stay connected. Let's do the same thing on, um, there's a mechanical jig, in this case it's the Globite lightning rod. Same thing with your little, little light going in there. Drives the kingfish crazy, that one. Um, and again, I would be doing the same thing. So I'd be taking the, um, the Kevlar loop through that solid ring on the top of the lure, just like they have actually with the, um, when they connected the assist rig, um, through that solid ring and then back on itself. So passing it through like that and back on itself. It's only 150 mils that you're adding to the whole overall length of the kit. But obviously that's where fish are biting. They're going to come in, they're going to be going for that shiny, flashy stuff, they're going to be slashing at the lure. If they've got really sharp teeth, they'll bite through your mono, but they're not going to bite through that and your 
If it's a barracuda, you've landed yourself some good bait. If it's a gem fish, you've actually landed yourself a really tasty fish, and same if it's a frost fish, um, but much more resistant to those teeth. So there we go. Um, now, there's one other thing I'm going to take this off so that I can show you um, that you need to know about this piece of kit, and that is you might be wanting to use it on your slider style lures, okay, like your grumpy fish or any of the other sliders on the market. So a few examples over here. Let's just grab out the good old um, grumpy fish and caramello colour. And um, we can also use this same rig on that lure. Now the trick with that is, when you open your packet with your lure savers in it, there's this little piece of kit here. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually going to be a really useful piece of kit for you. It's a stainless steel wire doubled over on itself, folded up nice and tight. But it's designed so that you can use it as a threading tool. So let's get this out of the way so you can see what we're doing. So I've got that piece of stainless steel wire. I'm just going to separate the two sides of the stainless steel like so. And then tuck it onto my um, Kevlar lure saver like so. And now it's almost like a threading needle. So that enables you then to pass it through the head of your grumpy fish, pass it through the Teflon tube on your grumpy fish, out the other side, pull it up tight, get the swivel so that you've got plenty of working room. That's out of your way. And then it is, even though it looks like it's a bit bulky, believe it or not, it's just the right size to fit through the lure skirt. So I'm threading it through the brass barrel on that lure skirt and pulling that up. Then the grumpy fish also comes with its own little set of rattles that you can use, you don't have to, but they've got a little silicon collar on them. Pass it through that silicon collar, pull that up, and now you're free to do the same with your grumpy fish hooks as you would with any of the other hooks on the other setup. So there's my solid ring on those grumpy fish hooks, passing the Kevlar through the solid ring, and in this case, Rather than trying to go back through the swivel, which has got everything already rigged on it, I'm just going to pass the hooks through that loop, and I've achieved the same purpose. I've looped it back on itself. Now when I pull on the swivel end, here we go, fully rigged, ready to fish, nice supple connection to my grumpy fish lure, ready to get out there, get some of those John Dorries, get some of those snapper and that wintertime fishing. So there you go guys, there are your new lure savers by Glowbite, Kevlar lure savers, really resistant to teeth, don't lose track of your little threading tool that's in there as well, really good when it comes to threading up on your grumpy fish sliders. Have a good one.